driving right now to Lucky's Lake Swim. So, I'm trying to be as focused as I can. Uh, traffic is not too bad. Um, my radio actually died a few weeks ago off the subject, and it's uh, actually stuck on one station, and it works to about Claremont. So when I get to Claremont, I'm like, okay, it's fuzzy. Let me just turn the GoPro on, Hero 11, that I got for Christmas. So these uh, images and video should be coming to you in 4K. Well, this says 5.3K. So we're close. Um, so yeah, really a lot going on. Uh, I know that I did promise a video for the post race at Haines City. I'm definitely gonna sit down and do that. Uh, just so much going on, you know, Christmas, New Year's, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it, it's happened. Work, life, kids. Man, I could just go on and on with excuses, but I will try to sit out on the back porch and relax and take 15 minutes and walk you guys and gals through Pain City, Florida, 70.3. Uh, got my race schedule coming up, but most importantly, what's been on my heart is swimming. So today's video would be, I know you're probably saying it under your breath, guess it. Why should I swim? I always like to throw those out there. Like, you know, why should you work? Why should you swim? Why should you run? Why should you pray? Why should you go to church? All the why should you? So this week's video is why should I, we, us swim? Why should we swim? Well, uh, I'm just going to summarize it for you, and one word comes to mind, and it is relaxing. So, for example, I'll be the luckies in a few minutes, and we'll get some really nice footage of that. And it looks like it's going to be in the 60s today, water temperature, and then the outside temp is, it's probably in the 50s right now, it's not. It's not terrible. It's probably in the 50s if I was to guess, you know, without looking at my phone. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go to Lucky's, knock out that swim. We'll get some footage of the of the swim. Uh, I'm always crushed for time. I got you know so many appointments and so much going on. I really got to get in, get out, get some breakfast. I got to stop at the bank. So there's like you know a few things going on. So, it looks like we're about maybe 20 minutes from Lucky's, 15 minutes, we're right by Disney World, and I think he's about 15 minutes from Disney. Yeah. So, we're going to be right on time. A uh, little bit of traffic, like I said, nothing too terrible, uh, but yeah, we should be about 15 minutes. Definitely with it being in the 60s, it will be in the wetsuit and I was thinking about the wetsuit on the way over here I'm like the wetsuit is it's good don't get me wrong I feel like it helps it doesn't keep you warm don't leave the misconception that it keeps you warm because the first thing that happens that comes to my mind is the water hits the zipper that's the first place the water hits the zipper and then you know, wetsuit's buoyant, so once you're buoyant, you're on top of the water, and you get going, you're like, okay, time to put my face in the water. That's the next cold thing, but you know what? I feel like it's pretty relaxing, and the reason I say that is because with like acne or, you know, anything you're dealing with your pores, it it releases that, that coolness, you know, to your pores, and what do they say? You know, hot bath, steam, open your pores, clean your pores, and then cold closes them up. So that's what 
I enjoy about that part of swimming. Now, back to the training. Uh, with the training, I've kind of knocked it down a little bit because this is kind of like my off season. Uh, I got a few races that I want to get together, and I want to keep, you know, keep that part going. Uh, even though that is a challenge, sometimes, you know, because you got lodging, you know, the expense of the race, you got the uh, equipment, you know, the price of the bike. Uh, there's just so many things that go into it. Travel. Um, so that's just one of the things that you know I deal with. Not from a fin financial perspective, of course. If you're going to go into doing triathlons, you have to be you know financially set, and I am. But it's it's just like not even so much. I would say the cost and the financial side of it, although that is part of it. I would say the logistics is very very tough the reason I say that for instance I'm signing up for a race and I booked the hotel booked it the wrong weekend had to call back booked it the right weekend still have not got an email to confirm so I don't know if he changed it or not so I don't want to show up to my race and them say oh yeah you don't have a room then, then what are you going to do you drove you know six seven 15, you know, 25 hours, then, you know, then what are you going to do? So the, logi the logistics part of it is challenging because, uh, you know, you're doing it at work, you're trying to get your work done, and you're trying to take a minute to get on the computer and, and book this, mm, excuse me, uh, match this date, you know, just, just everything. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a challenge when it comes to the logistics. Well, if you've got a company and someone's doing it for you, that, that's a little different. Uh, but if you're doing everything on your own. Now, my daughter does help me a little bit. So, that's definitely a, a big help there. Um, but back to two things. I want to talk about uh, my race season. Uh, race season coming up. Uh, i got three or four five races you know uh, Ironman of course half Ironman a sprint triathlon and a marathon so those are my four races that I'm going to you know be talking about and training for and I'm gonna try to mix mix it all in and uh, serve it up to you guys on YouTube Instagram you know all those fine social media channels and I did update my equipment like I promised. I got the, the drone, which is gonna be bringing some 4K footage. Uh, the new GoPro Hero 11, that will be bringing some 4K footage also. So I believe with the equipment, it'll definitely uh, help me get to that next level. And you guys and gals know where my heart's at. My heart is to just help that one person. If this video helps this one person, just sign up for an Ironman. Then the channel has done its job. It's not about getting rich, fame, and glory. Now, all that's cool because then you can, you know, get pay for trainers, pay for high dollar bikes, pay for swim skins, you know, without coming out of your own pocket, which I feel like that's a whole other video. That's a whole nother level of, you know, information that I can put out there. Uh, but no, so race season talked about that. Uh, second thing I was gonna talk about. Let's jump back into the swim. So, like I was saying about the swim, uh, I feel like it's relaxing. Uh, I am backing down a little bit. I'm doing uh, 30 minutes when I'm not, and I couldn't even still keep doing 30 minutes, to be honest with you, because it's one of those things, like, I was doing 45 minutes, and I did pretty good, and you could even get up to an hour and a half, two or three times, oh, excuse me, a week, but I wanted to do more or less a, uh, I don't know, a, a lighter swim focus, and then focus on actual 
bike and the run. Uh, but I do believe it's important definitely to get into some cold water because you never know when your uh, your race venue is going to be wetsuit legal, not wetsuit legal, right at, I mean, my opinion, I've been swimming in a pool for the past few nights, 30 minutes like I said, uh, about a two minute pace on 100, and it's it says 82, but it definitely feels like 78, and that, to me, that's, that's pretty cold. I mean, you figure, what is wetsuit legal? You know, uh, mid-70s, you know, right around there. So definitely get yourself to an open water swim. That's one. Uh, two would be to find a pool, YMCA, you know, somewhere you feel comfortable. Uh, I've been swimming a lot at night because, I, you know, I work 11, 12 hours a day. And then, uh, you know, jump in the pool, do your laps, you know, do your thing, and then get home to the family for sure. Well, we are almost the luckies. So that's really kind of what I had to say in all my heart about swimming. Uh, and, you know, got a few little details. So I'm going to put some video up after this uh, of the swim, you know, of the area. And then, so we'll end it here, though. Thank you for watching the video. And then stay tuned for some good, clean clips of Lucky's Lake Swim. cannot feel my feet. My feet are frozen. So, went over and back. Two minute pace. Uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, it is extremely chilly right now. I wouldn't say cold, but it was definitely a chilly swim. Uh, only thing it really is a challenge, I feel like, uh, is the putting your face in the water. That is definitely a challenge. Um, so when you get going, you're trying to put your face in the water and you're just like, you know, dipping it in there, you know, trying to get acclimated to the water and your face is frozen, your feet are frozen. Um, now your, your body, your core body, because of the wetsuit, you're, it's very, um, I don't wanna say warm, but definitely comfortable uh, does not match the uh, feeling of your face so um, or your feet but the wetsuit did a good job today um, like I said over and back it was about I got over there pretty quick uh, probably about 12 minutes and then back over in about uh, about 13 probably roughly and uh I definitely am walking to my car right now. You can see I'm at Lucky's walking by his truck and I cannot feel my feet. They always run and get to the hot tub, but I am um, definitely just trying to not run, but get to my car. <sighs> so let's go to first watch. Thank you again for coming along. It was a very, very rewarding day to say the least.